bright, first star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might have the wish. Go twinkle, little star, how I went. As long as we have been here, we have been struck with the wonder of the night sky, captivated by the endless, ever-changing drama of the stars. Twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. At the National Research Council's Dominion Astrophysical Observatory, we bring science and imagination, technology and inspiration together to find out who we really are, to try to determine our place in the universe, and in doing so, to discover just what the universe itself really is. We're stargazers. We're explorers, searching the universe with eyes and ears, lenses and mirrors, spectrometers and computers. And we've been doing it for three quarters of a century. Opened in 1918, the observatory was the passion of John Stanley Plaskett, who led a team of scientists in convincing the Canadian government that there was real value in finding out what the stars could teach us. The 20th century was still a teenager, and the world was at war. But Canada shared Plaskett's vision and got behind the creation of DAO. After examining sites in various climatic zones across Canada, Plaskett chose Little Saanich Mountain as the site of the observatory. A high frequency of clear weather, combined with steady skies to provide sharp star images, made this Vancouver Island site a choice location. At the time, no telescope this big had ever been built, and so Canada, the United States, and Europe worked together and made history. From France came the two-ton glass disc for the original mirror, figured and polished to precise shape in Pittsburgh. From Cleveland, the telescope and upper dome done to Plaskett's design. And in Victoria, a massive concrete pier to hold the telescope and the building to enclose it were built on this site. Each piece of the telescope traveled by train, boat, and by horse-drawn team up the mountain. Finally, 40 tons of glass and steel were assembled into a precise working instrument. And on May 6, 1918, first light. Almost as soon as the telescope had recorded its first spectrogram, astronomers at DAO began establishing research landmarks. A comprehensive survey of pairs of stars in orbit around each other vastly expanded our knowledge of their sizes, temperatures, and masses through study of their gravitational effects on each other. Discovery of the most massive binary star and the most massive star known Determination of the size and mass of the Milky Way galaxy, the beautiful system of stars, dust, and gas which is home to our very own star, the Sun, and its planets. Revelation of the 220 million year orbit we follow about the center of the galaxy. Demonstration that matter is widely distributed between the stars, a fact that made us reconsider the true size of the galaxy. Discovery of the first molecules in interstellar space, including organic molecules that are central to life. And measurement of the temperature of interstellar space, warmed by the heat left over from the birth of the universe some 15 billion years ago. The discoveries made by astronomers in Canada and around the world have dramatically affected the way we perceive our universe. And more importantly, our place in it. We, who are made of the very ashes of massive stars that briefly flared in spectacular explosive deaths long before our solar system was born. And the technology of astronomy has borne fruit in other areas. Medical screening for cancers and for monitoring brain activity, improved airport security and automobile safety, timekeeping, navigation, searching, focusing, Expanding, this tiny window on the universe helps us to widen the boundaries of knowledge itself. Most people think that observatories are night places, and that astronomers are night people. 
And while this is true, the days at DAO are a hive of activity too. We obtain and analyze the spectroscopic images gathered by our two telescopes and share them by computer with observers in other parts of the world. We design and build precision equipment for observatories around the world, including the mirrors for the 3.6 meter Canada-France-Hawaii telescope on the extinct Hawaiian volcano Mauna Kea, and the cameras that make its images the sharpest in the world. We collaborate in the development of software and hardware for optical instrument design, for precision control of telescopes, for computer archiving and distribution of data from ground and space-based telescopes, and for astrophysical observation. Finally, a steady flow of guest researchers, students, and some 50,000 visitors make the observatory a true living lab and a center for education in touch with people 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. For the astronomer, the whole universe is one incredibly large laboratory, and the tiny windows dotting our planet, observatories like this one, are gathering places for scientists from all over the globe, where the past and the future come into focus. And what of the future? Working with the worldwide community of astronomy, we will strive for a deeper understanding of where our sun and its planets, comets and asteroids came from, and where they are headed. We will study stars to learn how they are born, live and die, and to seek evidence of planets around nearby stars. We will study galaxies to learn how they formed after the Big Bang, how some briefly became quasars, how some have formed massive black holes at their centers, and how they have changed over the past 15 or 20 billion years. We will seek to uncover the laws of nature, of physics and chemistry that govern what we see in the sky. In doing so, we will unlock clues to our origins and gain a deeper appreciation of the power and grandeur of nature, of Earth, our environment, our fragile home. And more than anything, we will learn more about ourselves.